In this review we're going back in time. And we're looking at WSI's model of a classic DAF 2800 tractor from the 1970s and 1980s. It's paired up with a classic free axle flatbed trailer. And it's in the colours of the Dutch company Bortebloem. In fact it's quite nice to say that. Bortebloem. Bortebloem. I must say that next time I go to the supermarket. There was one small issue with getting the model out of the box and that was one of the wheel trims had come loose. But fortunately it wasn't lost so we were able to stick it back on and to do that we use our old friend super glue. One method you can use to try and control the placing small amounts of super glue is to use it on a pin. And then you can try and place it a bit more precisely and then we can now fit on the wheel trim. A final check to make sure it's stuck centrally and the job's done. What could you say about the assembly of this model? Well, not too much. All you have to do is to clip the kingpin of the trailer into the fifth wheel on the tractor and the model's complete. The chassis looks good with the old leaf spring suspension modelled and the tyres have a differing tread pattern front and rear. The wheels also look good in this colour scheme and it's good to see the old style exhaust pipe sticking out the side. The cab seems a very authentic copy of the original, and the lights and grille look particularly good. One very nice touch on the model is the Butterbloom graphics, which are really tiny and sharp on the cab doors. Looking inside the cab it's two-tone with different coloured seats, and behind the cab there are coiled lines. The classic trailer is also of a high standard and it includes a spare wheel, and the axles and suspension are modelled well too. The wheels look good and there are nice graphics on the deck edge. And the old style rollers on the landing legs look good too. The replica timber deck is nicely modelled with bolt positions marked. And at the back there's a nice old fashioned TIR plate. This staff might be an old timer but it speeds in from the right. And it rolls along nicely in a straight line. At the rear the wheels are fixed to common axles and spin freely. And at the front you can move the wheels to get a decent steering angle. So it will pose well on the shelf. And if you like driving your trucks around on the desktop it's moderately good at that. As you would expect one feature that WSI has implemented well is the tilting cab. And there's a decent engine to be seen underneath. The classic flatbed trailer is simple enough but it works well with the wheels spinning freely. And even though it is a simple trailer it has been engineered well because there's working suspension on each of the axles. The other working feature on the trailer is the landing legs. And these can be raised and lowered just by unscrewing them. So here we're doing them up. And then the trailer is ready to be attached to the tractor. Now it's time to give this nice Bottebloom truck a load to carry. So let's add some bricks and pallets. In summary this is a nicely implemented classic truck by WSI. The detailing is of a high standard and the simple functionality works well. And it's nice looking in that nice sounding Bertabloom colour scheme. So if you like classic trucks this DAF 2800 is highly recommended.